Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you all are very well. So, uh, you know, continuing with our uh, discussion on liquidity liquidity analysis. So today we'll be talking about, uh, you know, this another ratio which is called uh, receivables turnover, right? So receivables turnover is nothing but the ratio of sales to the receivables, right? So receivables are basically, uh, you know, those payments which you are yet to receive from the customers, right? Uh, so uh, you have not received it yet, but you are yet to receive it, right? So they are counted in assets basically. So uh, the ratio of sales to receivables is uh, total receivables is basically re receivables turnover. It shows you the firm's efficiencies to collect payments, right? It also reflects on the, you know, firm's credit policy. How long is the firm, uh, you know, uh, giving the credit, right? And, uh, you know, it, it also tells you that how many times in a year are the receivables being converted into sales, right? So ideally, you know, what this ratio shows us, what is the significance of this ratio? It helps us to comment on you know how is the collection period for uh, you know the firm if if this ratio is very high it mean it means that you know the uh, firm is able to collect payments from its customers very frequently or very soon right so uh, uh, you know related to that there is another ratio which is called uh, you know if i want to uh, so basically if i want to calculate in how many days is a company recovering the payments uh, we can do it by dividing this i mean by dividing 360 with the receivables turnover this is called rto right so 360 by rto will give you the number of days in which the company is able to collect the payments from its customers right so ideally if this ratio if, if if this number comes greater than 60 it means that it is taking longer than 60 days for the uh, you know form to get the payments back or the to, to get the receivables back and if it is you know less than 45 it shows that you know the company on an average is doing good in uh, you know in relation to collection with co uh, collecting payments from its customers right again it depends on the industry average uh, and it depends on the nature of the business also right so uh, in a in a lending business this could this number could be greater right and uh, in in, uh, in in businesses where you know uh, there is a product uh, 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 product sell it could be very frequent right because you are selling a product you are getting the payment back right and in some cases it could be advanced payment also right so uh, it depends on the nature of the business again but i want to tell you what is the significance of this ratio the significance is that it tells you how the firm's credit policy is right so high if if rto is high it means that the firm has a good credit policy i mean good good in the sense that it is able to collect uh, payments from its customers very soon right so this is what is the significance of rto in the next video we'll be talking about the ito which is called inventory turnover thank you so much have a very nice day bye bye and please subscribe to our channel take care